Every day, tens of thousands of aircraft worldwide are turned around and refuelled safely. In under 40 minutes, over 30 people will be working in a restricted area to prepare an aircraft like this for its next flight, and that includes those loading fuel on board. Space is confined and everyone is working to the same tight deadlines, so it's vital to observe the apron safety procedures. Aviation fuel can be delivered from airport storage by tanker trucks called fuelers or pumped under pressure through a pipe network beneath the airport apron for quick fueling of aircraft using a hydrant. Fuel flows from the hydrant via a pit valve to a hydrant service vehicle at a pressure of over 150 psi or 10 bar to ensure the high delivery rate required. In one minute, the time it takes to fill an average car with 40 litres of fuel a big jet can take up to 4,000 litres. Always comply with the safety procedures and be alert to potential risks when working around an aircraft. Keep a lookout for other operations on the apron, especially fueling equipment. Respect and maintain a safe distance from the fueling vehicle, fuel hoses and the fuel hydrant pit coupler. Before fueling can begin, a bonding wire must be connected between the fueling equipment and the bonding point on the aircraft to equalise the electrical potential. This eliminates the risk of a spark and the possibility of a fire. If the bonding link is broken for any reason during fueling, the operation must stop before the bonding wire can be safely reconnected. Only then can fueling continue. Hydrant pit valves and couplers are designed to demanding strength and breakaway standards. Although exceptionally tough, they can still be severely damaged if a vehicle drives into them. This could cause the release of high-pressure fuel. It's essential that everyone working around an aircraft knows where the safety equipment is on the apron and how to use it. Activating the emergency shutdown button will quickly stop the fuel flow throughout the airport. Access to this button must be kept clear at all times. Releasing the dead man control stops fuel flow to the aircraft and pulling the lanyard cuts off fuel flow from the hydrant. Time is critical to everyone involved in the turnaround of an aircraft. Time pressure makes it all too easy to be careless and take dangerous risks, like exceeding the speed limit and taking short cuts on the apron. There's always a temptation to park as close as possible to the aircraft. It seems to make the job quicker and easier. But if the aircraft fuel tanks are overfilled for any reason, fuel will flow from these vents. And if this fuel comes into contact with an ignition source like a hot vehicle exhaust, this will cause a fire. Ignoring fundamental safety precautions, such as keeping clear of the aircraft wing vents, could put everyone in jeopardy. Fueling vehicles must always have a clear forward exit path. No other vehicle or obstacle should be in their way. Always keep clear of fueling areas and equipment. This includes filling and venting points on the aircraft, hydrant pits, fueling vehicles and hoses. Stay away from the bonding wire and always allow a clear exit for the fueling vehicle. Do not attempt to restart stalled service vehicles, such as baggage handling and catering supply trucks, as this could cause an ignition spark. Quick and efficient turnaround of an aircraft can only be achieved safely if everybody is aware of what's going on. This means observing fueling safety procedures at all times. And never forget to keep an eye out for the unusual. Being ready to act quickly and responsibly could save lives, even your own.